Hello everybody, this is Gold League Gamer 1 and Dine, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. And we just took out the Skull Dragon, but there's a random encounter we keep running to that proves to be a big pain in the butt. Yep, same same spot, same encounter. Um, oh no, actually it's Outsider and Madam. Yeah, those are the same enemies, just this time it's a preemptive strike. Ah, this guy, these guys have killed the team twice. This time should hopefully be different. If not, the best thing you can do is run away. Yeah, this, this ought to kill one of them, maybe both of them. No, how many HP do these guys have? Oh, okay, got one of them. Yeah, the enemies in these areas are nasty, and they only they only get worse further and you go into the dungeon. Oh, Meteor again. Uh, will, it hit, will it hit allies on both sides? Yes, it does. But, hopefully she won't last long. Especially after this. Come on, come on, finish her off. Finally! Five magic points, though. Running low on Phoenix Downs, unfortunately. <laughs> Time to cure everybody again. Ooh, and it looks like Saban's getting low on MP. Yep. And the downside, it, of course, Gogo can also act as a backup healer, but I don't know if Kai knows any. Healing spells. Uh, the only the Esper I give him is Odin, and Odin doesn't have any healing spells. Yep. Okay, so there's the switch. So team two can continue on. Or was that team one? I lost track. I think it's team one. These guys again. Yeah, unfortunately, this team really doesn't have a whole lot of characters who can hit all enemies. So we got to take these guys out one at a time. Unless he decided to dance with Mog, but that has not been the most reliable. Ooh. I think Celeste just broke the damage record. 7,342. That was amazing. I've not seen anyone hit at the damage limit yet, but it's still possible. Right, so so, so the damage uh, damage per hit can't go past, past uh, 9,999. Right. Even though there are many enemies in this game that have five-figure HP. Okay, here's a bit of a puzzle. The last party needs to catch up and hit that other switch. Then they kind of go around. Uh, there is a chest right above that conveyor belt. I think it's a weapon for Realm, but really not useful. So, no problem skipping that. I think it's the Rainbow Brush. Uh, we fought plenty of these guys already. They keep coming back for more. Yep. It's almost like they haven't had enough. They never have. Wait, wait a sec. Yeah, Saban is healing those guys. But I thought the, I thought the dragon claws were not elemental. I was wrong. A dinosaur attacking with his whale. Yep, you're just healing those guys. Use your pummel. And we made up for it. Good old sour mouth, aka bad breath. Yep, single remedy will take care of the imp and the poison on saving there. Unfortunately, still poison. I need his antidote. And back into it. And at this, after this room, the enemy, he's, the enemy layout will, will change again. 
Alright, up up here. Teams are finally within sight of each other again. So that opens that at front door. And what the team has to do is get to these three those three switches. Mm-hmm. Also defeat this guy. Julian. Nah, I won't make an X-Files joke. <laughs> I wouldn't even understand that. You never saw the X-Files? Never. Oh, that's too bad. It was one of the best shows of the 90s. Yeah, this guy is just like all the other machine enemies in the area. <laughs> high defense, high HP, loves to spam missiles and launchers and wave cannons. Let the missiles and the launchers and the wave cannons and the pain and the glaive and holy. <laughs> but will the battle be won before Mog is dead? Up to you, Celeste. Oh, goodbye, Mog. And probably good by a half the other team, too. Nope, everyone survived that. Poor Mog, he survived the wave cannon only to be killed by Condemned. And <laughs> There's a bug! What? Uh, the fact that it Mog's uh, Mithril Glove cast safe on him, uh, what, what, once he got to low HP, but even though he was already dead, it still cast, still cast safe on him. Oh, launcher. But most annoying village in the game remains the same. Oh, goodbye, realm. Now the characters are getting experience. And why did you not revive Mog before... Oh, never mind, his life too. <laughs> okay, what, what, what the characters need to do is... Uh, team 1 needs to go either left or right. And then push one of those four-ton switches down. Yeah, well, well, the other two teams need to step off their switches. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the game is nice. It won't let you push the, won't let you push the thing uh, until, the, until the other team moves. Another one of these guys. Oh. Kafka, are you still playing solitaire over there? Yes, I've won many times because, uh, in case you didn't know, I cheat and you can't play with me. That's what they call it, solitaire. <laughs> you can't cheat in solitaire. Oh, yes, you can. You just move the cards anywhere you want. <laughs> and no one will ever know because no one's watching me play either. <laughs> Yeah, me then it's like saying that you can't cheat on a jigsaw puzzle. Exactly. And those who just push the pieces together even if they don't fit. Who cares if it looks nothing like the box? I still got it together! <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter in the end because I burned it all anyway. <laughs> just like you burned everyone else? Yes! As an, as an anime fan, my favorite song of all time is You Get to Burning! The opening theme song, theme song from Martian Successor, not as ago. <laughs> Ouch. I wonder if Kefka's ever heard of, heard of her song called Burn It Up. Probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there were two, two songs called Burn It Up. One by Madonna and one by the Jonas Brothers. He's not dead yet. Grandpa, that's a new one. Yeah, give it. Oh, looks like Robo's. Yeah, give it up. Gravity bomb does not do much effect. Uh, I think it just had his HP. Uh, let's see what the effects on uh, one of Magus' spells from Chrono Trigger. Shadow Bomb, if I remember correctly. Let's double check. 
Yeah, yeah, well, except Chrono Trigger was released one year after this one. I know, but it still has some similar, similar graphical styles. Oh, locked down to 166 HP. Last one standing. No limit break. Up. Oh. oh, lucky. And no more Phoenix Downs. Yep. Which is unfortunate. Oh, very. Unfortunately, Realm has Cure 3. Yep. So yeah, standing on that switch does nothing. Everyone has to stand on their own switches. Yeah, whoever, whoever's going to move on next simply needs to go to those stairs on the other side. Nope, the game's not going to let you crush your own teammates. And whoever's in the lead will make their angry pose when they push the weight. Thankfully, it does not take five minutes to do that. Or four minutes. And continuing on. Team number two will go to the right. Now, there actually is a, a one, a single fight in this game with a unique lore for Strago. If I remember correctly, uh, he needs to be in team one, and they need to go left at this point in order for him to be in that uh, be in that encounter. No, 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 not another one! <laughs> Three times in a row, man! Well, like I said, the enemies in this part of the, in this part of the dungeon are the hardest. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Poor realm. I've never I've never seen that happen before. If you using a, a using a sacrifice a based ability from sketch. Oh, poison frog, will that one work this time? Okay. Oh, yeah. Helped out. Gravity bomb should only do half person's HP. Yep. And heal up. And do something that'll do some damage, Mog. Oh, will this work? Ah, oh, darn. Instantly killing that thing would have felt so good. Yeah, it would have. I know. Elf fire. This is probably the thing that's going to hurt him the most. Oh, yep. Yeah. Did more than the poison frog did. Well, if this works, it'll be a slight less of a threat. Oh, no. Yeah, Berserking is often a, way, a good way to get around a lot of enemy abilities. The downside is, will the spell work on them? Ah, I should be able to finish him off before Realm dies here. Even you just keep missing. What is it about your attack that just doesn't work on half the enemies? Oh well. And now let's get to the bottom of his information. Probably weak against Bolt. A lot of machines are. You yep. called it. And water. So I don't know. I don't know if Mog has water, or Rondo. But that's a good one to use for on this one. Yeah, but he's stuck in dance mode, though. Yep. Simply because of choosing Dusk Requiem instead. But you can only learn you can only learn water, or Rondo in the World of Balance. Oh, that's that's an insult to Realm there. Oh, oh, she blocked her own death. Wow. Okay. 
okay. I don't think I've seen that before. I don't think I have either. But I think she has the memento ring equipped, which, which makes sense, because that protects against instant death abilities. And apparently the memento ring works on works on condemned. Oh, well, it, it, because it's an instant death ability. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, 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 now I regret doing something, which we'll see in part 55. Well, yeah, the mo Mog was the only casualty of that one. We got... Oh, ten and a half minutes left on this one. Please, no more Scolions! They're just eating up all the time! <laughs> okay, back to Terra's team. She needs to go push that other weight down. And back to the other switch. Oh, so close. Oh, these guys again. More of a nuisance and a threat than those Scullions were. Yep. Actually, I think these guys are weak against water too, so... Uh, Strago's Aqua Rick would do a lot of damage. Concentrate your firepower on one, take them down one at a time. It would have been so funny if he cast that on himself while confused. You'd best be frozen. Just have to learn to let it go, gal. Just conceal, don't feel. And don't move. I wonder if Remedy works on the frozen characters. Would have been funny if he cast fire on them too. Yeah, and now Gao is gone. Yep, and you can actually cast spells on your entire team, just like you would all the enemies. Yeah, that's gonna hit Terra, I think. No, hit Strago. Sometimes, sometimes it's hard to tell exactly who the attack animations are hitting. That one's Terra. Scan him. Yep, lightning and water. Yep, Strago's Aqua Rake. Oh, and he'll learn this ability. I really don't know what calculates the damage on this ability, though. I think it's based on how much gill you have. Oh, he's down. Aha, confuse the confusers. I guess Sigrid's just out of MP, isn't he? Yeah. But, but when we get to the next save point, we'll fix that. Yeah, let's let do their confusion, but still dish out some nice damage. Only one left. Oh boy, confusing gal. <laughs> Who confused Edgar in turn? Who <laughs> attacked himself with his chainsaw? Don't you know the basic safety protocols of handling those things, man? Do we, do we have to put a, put a sign on chainsaws that say, Do not point at yourself. Caution, aim away from face. Uh, that would be a good idea. <laughs> oh, geez, Strago still learned the ability even though he got wounded. Never knew if he could do that. Oh, I didn't think that was how it worked. 
Let's see, in Final Fantasy V, if, it kill, if the character is killed by the ability, they have to be revived before they'll actually learn it. That's why learning level 5 death in that game is a pain. Okay, so the final team needs to come up and hit the last switch and then backtrack because the uh, platform's going to appear right here and hit the switch below. I think that also opens the way up for the other teams. Yep, opens, opens new doors there so they can go around. Deciding on what to do... So there's another boss right there for the third team to fight. And right here, we have the first of the three statues. Every, one, every team gets to fight one of them. Yep, so, so all three statues serve as the, uh, as the last bosses before Kafka. Yep, the penultimate final bosses, you also get some of the best weapons in the game from them. You definitely want to give those to who, whoever is going to be involved in the final fight. Yeah, so uh, we talked about this on camera, but my plan for the final fight is to have in, in front of the line um, two strong attackers and two strong healers. That's the way to go. I, I actually, uh, based on the layout here, I would recommend uh, start off with Edgar, Sabin, Terra, and one other primary magic user. Alright, so should, should attackers or healers be in front? Well, they're they're all in the front row right now anyway. But what? But uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be having characters who are strong in both physical and magic, so they're going to be they're going to be there. And for er, for the boss fights, just want to spread out. Well, not quite spread out them. For the first two forms, well, I'll I'll, I'll explain that when getting to the final boss. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Goodbye, Terra. Okay. But, yeah, you want you want to be able to concentrate it's a lot of damage on the one 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 enemy or spread it out. And of course, both Edgar and Saban are able to do both of those. And it's at this point where you might want to run away. Maybe. I don't know how much HP this guy has left. It could be a close fight unless Gao just finished him off there. And he got healed. Oh, yep. well, thank it, thank you, enemy. And a level up on top of that. Okay, there are Phoenix Downs left. I was looking at the wrong item earlier. Yeah, I think Jake has learned everything from Phantom. door here, and I think this team is going to fight uh, Got us. Okay, yeah. I couldn't remember if she was on the center or on the right. Oh, veterans! These are the these are the other enemies I warned about yeah, I a while back. Um, yeah, uh, Doom is on the left, Goddess is on the right, and and Poltergeist is in the center. Okay. Yeah, these veterans are actually called Arimans, and are a Final Fantasy a common enemy. They've appeared in several games. And they love to use Condemned. Oh, my good old Pearl Lance. Casting Pearl. Who channels Mia Fey and helps Phoenix right win the court case. Oh wait, wrong series. See, red card goes on the red card here, just so I have the right numbers. Black card goes on the red card, and on the other black card. There, I win again! <laughs> there, that's 20 games in a row I've won a solitaire. Now I'm getting a little bit bored waiting for you guys to get here. Maybe I'll just play 52 pickup and have you guys pick up all the cards. Just for making me wait. <laughs> actually, uh, actually, maybe you could challenge Kazooie to poker. No, I just burned her alive! <laughs> no, because... Mm, roast because chicken for there. That's so in, the, in the banjo Tui story, Kazooie actually actually cheats at poker, so... Well, you forget, I'm the god of this world, so only I'm allowed to cheat! 
Yeah, well, well, Kazooie did it first. So. Oh, no, this game came out before. Oh, yeah, this was six <laughs> years before Banjo Toy. Uh, okay. Nope, he's petrified, not zombie, so. This is gonna be a fun. fun fight to win. Actually, you can only cast him. Now there is there is actually uh, some some equipment out there that's specifically designed to be used by imps. So if you turn into an imp and, and equip that, you actually do a whole lot of damage. But a lot of it's pretty spread out and well hidden. Yeah, and even though he's petrified, the camera was nice enough to stop. And, yeah, run away. <laughs> Best to run away at this point. Because she's not doing enough damage to catch up to those... to the monsters and roulette. It will randomly kill a random ally or enemy, and... <laughs> oh, he decided to kill himself! Oh, it didn't work. Not surprised. That's another one Strago can learn. Well, the video's about over, and it's about to get a game over, so I think we're done here. Uh, yeah, in, yeah, in a few seconds, we will be. Ah, game over. Oh, nope, not quite. Now, yeah. game over. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, this is Gold League Gamer 1 and 9. Later, folks. Bye, guys.